First full week of the winter sports season is officially in the books with high school boys and girls basketball set to make their triumphant return to the Service Electric Network tonight. Means it's about time we featured some winter sports stars as part of top plays and prime time performers. We begin this week's edition with the first champion to be crowned in the 2022-23 winter sports season. That honor belonging to the Nazareth cheer team, which claimed its third straight East Penn Conference title last Wednesday. The Blue Eagles with the cleanest program, one that featured the highest elements of difficulty. Nazareth finishing atop the podium with a score of 87.6. On the heels of their third straight EPC crown, the Blue Eagles will take aim at their third district title in a row on Saturday, January the 7th. Banger Slaters were district runners up a year ago and appear to be title contenders yet again this winter. The Slaters off to a 3 and 1 start overall with the team's marquee victory to date coming last Thursday over Notre Dame Green Pond. A game in which forward Julia Pincher led the way for Banger with a dozen points, six of those for the junior coming in the first quarter as the Slaters took home a 43-37 win. Northampton, meanwhile, is off to a 4-1 start, which includes a win over Banger on Saturday. That one-point victory coming on the heels of a three-point triumph versus Liberty on Friday. A game in which forward Grace Lesko dropped in a game-high 14 points. The senior also chipping in four rebounds, two blocks, and a steal. The EPC first-team All-Star from a year ago enters tonight's showdown at Central Catholic, just nine points shy of 1,000 for her K-Kids career. Now, the K-Kids' only loss in five games so far this season came to defending District 6A champion Parkland last Tuesday as the Trojans opened their new campaign with a resounding 28-point win. Talia Zarinskis with 16 points in the victory, the junior guard splashing down a quartet of trades as Parkland served notice right from the season's opening week. They're a force to be reckoned with yet again. The Parkland boys also appear to be one to watch this winter as well, led by junior Nick Koval, who's posted more than 20 points in each of the Trojans' first three outings, going for a team-high 24 in Friday's victory at Nazareth. The reigning EPC first-team All-Star posting 20 of those points in the first half, dishing out some dimes too. Check out this no-look behind-the-back pass to Joey Gervasio. Koval with 76 points through three games. Trojans are 2-1, and one, heading into tonight's tilt at Allen. Meanwhile, rival Emmaus is 4-1 and one through its first five outings, winning by 10 at Deeriff on Friday, despite missing a pair of starters. Junior Will Barber stepping up in a big-time way, pouring in a game-high 25 points, 20 of those coming in the second half, as the Green Hornets outlasted the Huskies 51-41. Barber converted a trio of trays on Friday and finished six for seven from the free throw line. Emmaus hosts Whitehall tonight, live on SEN. Finally, last Tuesday, Freedom provided us with one of the first buzzer beaters of the young season. Patriots down one, the visiting Bethlehem Catholic with time winding down when senior Jaden Tillett crashes the boards, dropping in this buzzer beating putback to give Freedom a dramatic 38 to 37 win over the Golden Hawks. Tillett finished with seven points, seven rebounds, and four assists. Pates are two and two entering tonight's showdown at Pleasant Valley.